You're Let's bad. talk cap casualties. So you have a list of players who potentially are going to get the ax from other teams that the Niners could sign because the Niners have more cap space than about two thirds of the league. So read, read the list out. Yeah. So this is the players that Albert Breer basically floated out. And um, he basically said Stefan Gilmore, Brandon Brooks, Michael Brocker, Zach Ertz, Preston Smith, Kevin Zeitler, Andrew Norwell, who many people thought the Niners would sign, if you remember, in 2018. Oh, yeah. Gino Atkins, David Njoku, Trent Brown, Emmanuel Sanders, Quan Alexander, and LaMarcus Joyner. Quan, huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so of those guys, um, I think the most interesting thing is that there's three kind of – uh, upper tier level interior offensive lineman. Brandon Brooks is coming off an injury, but when he's healthy, he's one of the three best, best guards in the NFL with Quentin Nelson and Zach Martin. He's that good. Um, Kevin Zeitler has been an above average starter for years now. I don't know how he did with the Giants last year, but I'm assuming he's been consistently a solid player. And then Andrew Norwell, I've actually not followed his career since he's gone to Jacksonville, but I know that Jacksonville paid a hell of a lot of money to get him from Carolina. And he was supposed to be one of the prized free agents of that offseason. And the Niners were definitely interested until the final running for Andrew Norwell. So we've all talked about right guard and center as two spots they need to improve. Well, the Niners are going to be on the clearance rack this offseason trying to shop. And they're going to have some veteran options that might be quick fix bandages that they can put on the right guard position while a Colton McKivitz develops. It might even be a one-year where you let McKibbitts maybe sit one more year and have him be your sixth or seventh offensive lineman. You have Brandon Brooks coming back, or you have Kevin Zeitler start, or you have Andrew Norwell. You think you think they go after Sanders? I, I would like them to go after Sanders, but I don't think that's a pressing need. I think the receiver room is Only pretty much set. Only if they keep Garoppolo. I, yeah. Think, I think, yeah, I think the receiver room is set. you got to have faith in Ayuk and Debo. Uh, unfortunately, that's just – you can have questions about both their health, but, man, you invested a lot in them. They've both shown that they're two of your key players. you got to have faith in them. Then, I mean, Jay, let's forget Jalen Hurd. I think Richie James is still a solid, solid piece. I think Travis Benjamin coming back is really a name to watch. People keep talking about deep threat, deep threat, deep threat. Travis Benjamin is 4-3-4. Travis Benjamin's a good returner. Travis Benjamin, they signed for a reason, so that's a name to watch. And then maybe maybe you go into the draft and you pick a fifth-round receiver. A lot of people love Juwan Jennings. A lot of people are still high on the prospects of Kevin White, Jalen Hurd. Maybe you get something about Richie one of James. those. Richie three, James four, has, right. you has something produced. About one of, I think Richie James, I would put him with a set of IU, Debo, and Travis Benjamin, where you can be kind of confident of what yeah. you're getting. Now you have four wild cards that you might be able to get something with from. That sounds good to Probably me. The best position on the team along with tight end, those two. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's up there. It's up there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, which cap casualties do you think the Niners should target above all else? It's, it's those three guards. The, the guards. Norwell, Same again. Brandon Brooks is a right guard. Andrew Norwell, okay. Brandon Brooks, Kevin Zeitler. Okay. Like those are, I think those are Alex Mack type signings. Maybe you get those guys, you get one of those guys in Alex Mack and now you're cooking. You are yeah. cooking with your offensive line. Absolutely. I like that. All right, real quick. Daniel says, Grant, would you make these videos a podcast so that people can listen to them on the move? Yeah, I'll work on that. I, I, yeah, I'll figure that out. Um, would people like that? Do people still listen to podcasts? I don't know. I sure. think so. But I, what I do know is that a lot of people just uh, – because you can extract audio and video so yeah. easily using StreamYard. They yeah. just put it on every platform they can. So they extract the audio and put the audio on – Spotify, Apple Podcasts, everything, and then the yeah. videos on YouTube. So, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Sure, Daniel. I'll do that. I'll work on that. Thank you. <laughs>